Hi, welcome to this segment of Digital Discoveries. In today's segment, we're going to look at using a digital still camera to record video. And somebody might ask, well, why would you want to do that? Well, one of the neat things about digital still cameras, modern digital still cameras, is that they're multifunctional pieces of equipment. They're pieces of equipment that can do more than one thing. So they can take digital stills, they can take video, but they also can be audio recorders as well. And so today, we're going to look at how to um, use a, a digital still camera to record video. So we're going to look at some of the limitations. We're going to look at some of the things it can do and it can't do. I'm going to show you actually how to do it. So we're going to look at a typical digital still camera here. And the one we're using is just this real inexpensive Kodak Easy Share camera. Um, uh, your campus probably has lots of these. There's pr not, not particularly this model, but your campus probably has digital still uh, cameras on, on the campus. And so what you need to do is go out and find them. And once you find them, then you can start using them to record video. So let's see, how do you do that? Well, most cameras, most cameras have a setting. And that setting, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's hard to see right here. But most cameras have a setting that has a little picture, and it's really kind of hard to see, but it's a little picture of a camera. And that camera there means video. And so once you turn your camera to that setting, it might be on a wheel like this, it might be in the menu, it might be in different uh, places. You've got to kind of look and read the instruction manual on how to do it. But once you find a camera that's got that little camera the video camera picture or icon on it, then you know that your camera can do video. Most cameras have that particular looking icon. They look very, very similar to that, the, the, no matter what the manufacturer is. So if it's a Kodak camera or a Sony camera or uh, a Canon camera, it doesn't really matter. They all have that little picture of a, of, of a, a video camera on it. So once you set it to that setting, you've got your camera set to record video. So why is this important? Well, I don't know about you, but I love to watch the Food Network. And there's this guy on the Food Network called Alton Brown. And one of the things that Alton Brown says in his show is that he hates to get a, an instrument or, a, or something for his kitchen that just you, does one thing. He likes to buy pieces of equipment for his kitchen that can do multiple things. And that's what you're looking at when you have a video camera digital camera combination. So it's so easy to use once you, once you set it like this. Let's move it back out. And once you have it set like that, all you have to do is turn your camera on. And the lens will pop out, probably. And you can see here, it's hard to see there, but you can see, actually, that little camera thing comes up right there. And it actually says, I'm ready to shoot some, some video. I'm ready to shoot some video. And in this particular case, it actually tells me how much time I've got left on my memory card. So I can shoot video for 26 minutes and, and 39 seconds. So I've almost got a half an hour worth of video here that your kids can use in classroom or that you can use in the classroom. So that's what that's all about. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to actually use my camera to shoot some video. And I'm actually going to shoot some video of how our TV studio is set up. And so this will kind of show you what I see when I'm recording my show. We're going to stick that in. That's what I see when I'm recording my show. Now, so what are some of the tricks that you got to do? And when you're done, by the way, when you're done, you just turn off the off switch. And it's done. That's it. I have this little 17 second. And now I want to play my video. So it comes back and says, play the video. And I hit the play button. I say OK. And there's my video playing. It's kind of hard to see, but that's my video that I just made. And so that's, I'm looking out at my studio here. So, so that's kind of cool. And so that's how you make a video. So the camera looks like that. What do you need to, what are some of the limitations on using a camera like this? Well, one of the things that you're going to have to have is a tripod. You're going to have to have something that sets the camera and holds it steady while you're making a video, unless you want that handheld effect. 
But if your kids are using it and you're doing like an interview kind of thing, you want to have something that holds the camera steady. A lot of people want to just hold the camera or put it on a table. And that's kind of OK if no one ever comes along and bumps on the table. If you just sit there and just hold it like that, as long as it doesn't bump the table or nobody's on the table, that's, that's OK. That's kind of an inexpensive way of doing it. But you know, you can get tripods for almost no money at all. You can get little tiny tripods that are about the size of this pencil. And you can get those for about $12 at you know, any of the major electronic retailers. So tripods are not really an issue, but you need to have them. So what are some of the, uh, what are some of the um, limitations of using a uh, camera like this? Well, some of the limitations are you don't get as good a sound as if you would on a regular camcorder. But the sound's kind of good enough. I'm going to show you why you don't get as good a sound. You know, when we're here in the studio, I've got this microphone right here. And uh, it picks up all kinds of great noise. But on a camera like this, that little hole right there, that's the microphone. That's the entire microphone. So when kids are using these to record, they need to speak loudly. They need to speak clearly. Now, they don't need to like yell at the camera. But it's one of those things, you got to remember, that that little tiny hole kind of picks up the whole room's uh, sound. So if kids are off on, in parts of the room making noise, it's going to end up in that microphone. So some tricks of the trade are use that tripod. Um, understand and make sure the kids understand that all the noise in the room is being recorded. That doesn't differentiate between good noise and bad noise. It takes all noise. Like this kind of microphone here, this kind of camera of <laughs> this kind of microphone here, it picks up just my voice. And so even if there were some people in the studio with me right now whispering, it wouldn't pick their voices up. And so I want to show you something else that's really kind of cool. And that's <laughs> we're actually uh, we're actually filming this uh, segment not only with our fancy dancy cameras that we've got, but we're also using one of these to actually record this segment. And so my guys here are actually, you can see that right there. You can see it on a tripod. We've got it on a very expensive tripod, by the way. But you can see it right there. It's recording me as I'm talking. And so we're going to split that in and show you how good the video is. So the video is very, very good quality. It's a lot better than it was a few years ago. So if a few years ago you were trying these out and the video wasn't so hot, if you've got a pretty modern within the last two or three years camera, on your campus like this, then please use it to use video. How do you get the video off of the camera? Depends on the camera, but most cameras have some kind of a little card that holds all the information, and your computer has some kind of card reader in it, especially if you have a teacher laptop, an EPISD, you've got a card reader on your laptop. Uh, different computers have different kinds of card readers. All the computers also have uh, a USB connector where you can connect via cable from the camera to the computer. So look on your campus, see if you've got a, a digital still camera, and see if you can use that for video. I bet you'd be surprised on what you can do with these digital still cameras. So I'm going to leave you with this question. Are there other devices that you can think of that you've got, electronic devices that you can think of, that can be used to do more than one thing at your campus? These can be used to do video. These can be used to do just audio. And they can be used to do still. Are there other devices that can do multiple things on your campus? Thanks for joining me for this segment of Digital Discoveries. We'll see you next time.